Hello, my name is Scott, the YouTube Ninja, and today we're discussing a wrist lock called the Praying Hands. It's a very common hold you see in all sorts of movies, where you see the guy come up and bow just like this. That's actually an effective martial art move called the Praying Hands wrist lock. So, in this case, my opponent is trying to either strangle or grab me. You take one hand and you go over both sides of the grab, and you grab the hand. When you do this, you take your hand, palm side against his, the back of his hand, put your thumb inside his thumb and fingers, just like this. You grab on the opposite side. This will let you break the airway a little bit so he's not choking you out. Then, you take your elbow and just push it towards the floor. This will break his grab and put him at a disadvantage. Now, you take the hand you've already grabbed and just kind of pull it over to expose his palm. Take your palm of your hand and put it against him and grab a hold just like the other hand. Then just simply pray it out. And you'll have your opponent go down to the ground just like that and you got them in a very dangerous wrist lock. Same thing can be done if uh, they're trying to grab your shirt like they're going to grab and punch you. So in this case, to prevent them from uh, being able to punch you, take it and just kind of give them a little slap or hit their face, get them distracted. That way they won't be coming at you with their fists. Same thing, come over, grab their hand just like that to break that grip, twist it over. You can see it torques the elbows and puts him over already, not having to do anything. Then take your palm, put it against his palm, put it against your chest, and then just spray down. That whizzing pain is what you're after, but be careful. This move is dangerous and can cause damage to the wrist and elbow if you torque it wrong. So whenever you practice this, practice very slow, very controlled. Talk to your opponent. Make sure he's okay. You don't want to hurt him or you can't practice anymore. All right. Hope you have fun with this and keep practicing.